Did you know that the Canon M6 Mark II has its own high dynamic range mode when it comes to video? In this video, we're going to talk about that high dynamic range mode, what the camera does to make that work and if it's any good. Coming up. Hi, my name is Roger and on this channel we talk about cameras, tech gear and videography and sometimes photography. Having a camera with high dynamic range means that the camera can see information that's in the highlights at the same time as the camera sees details in the shadows. And the better the camera is at capturing high dynamic range, usually the more expensive the camera is. Take the Sony a7S III or the Canon R5 and R6, those are quite expensive cameras but they do have a good high dynamic range. But in this video we're going to talk about the Canon M6 Mark II. The Canon M6 Mark II it's not the camera that's highest in price and it's not the best camera when it comes to high dynamic range. But the camera has its own high dynamic range mode when it comes to video. This video mode has its limitations. You're only able to shoot in HDR mode in full HD and you're only able to shoot in 25 or 30 frames per second. I went out yesterday with my Canon M6 Mark II and I shot some example footage with the HDR video mode and without the HDR video mode also known as regular video mode, manual settings and all. And now I'm gonna play this for you, so let me know in the comments if you see any differences and what clip is taken with the high dynamic range mode and what clip is taken with the regular video mode. The way to choose HDR video mode on the Canon M6 Mark II is that you go into the menu, the first red menu site where the camera is, tab number one, and the first option you have there is shooting mode. You go into that mode and here you have three options. At the top you have movie auto exposure. In this mode the camera takes all the decisions for you and it changes the settings as it fits best to get the best picture. If you're not comfortable with manual settings, this might be the best option for you. But if you are comfortable with manual settings, you can see that in the next mode, you have the camera with the M on it. This is movie manual exposure. This means that you're in charge. You have full access to all the settings. You can change the ISO, the aperture, the shutter speed and the frame rates. So you decide how the video should look. And if you go all the way down, here you have the HDR video mode. When you go into HDR video mode, you lose control over all your settings. You lose control over your frame rate, shutter speed, ISO and aperture. The camera does everything for you in order to get the best image possible out of the scene that you're filming. Now, back to the first clips that I showed you. Have you posted your comment down below on which you thought was what clip? I'm gonna reveal that now. The first clip that you see here, that's the HDR video mode. The second clip that you saw, that's the regular video mode with the manual settings. Do you see any difference? When is actually the HDR video mode useful? If you make videos, you probably know about the 180 degree rule. And if you don't know what the 180 degree rule says or means or is, your shutter speed should always be the double of your frames per second. So if you're shooting in 25 frames per second, like I am, you should always have your shutter speed at 1 50th of a second. And that rule exists because you want your footage to look as normal as possible. If I do like this, you can see the motion blur on my hand. 
and that's because I'm filming with 25 frames per second and my shutter speed is 1 50th of a second. Double. So the motion blur that you see on this video, that's kind of like the motion blur you would see in real life. The problem with the HDR mode is that you don't control this setting. The setting changes all depending on how much light there is in the footage. You might end up with sometimes probably motion blur and then suddenly if something changes you would end up with something that doesn't look as natural. So let's say you're shooting in HDR video mode to get the best dynamic range and someone is running through the scene. Depending on what kind of settings the camera has chosen for that scene, you might get motion blur like this or you might not get motion blur like this. If you want that natural motion blur, you can't shoot in HDR video mode because you're not in control of your settings. So where is HDR video mode? useful. I think HDR video mode might be useful for landscape videography if you want just to film a nice scene where there is bright light and dark light at the same time. The HDR video mode is okay for short clips like that. You, you can't shoot a whole video or a film with this HDR mode on the M6 Mark II, unfortunately. But having the option of the HDR video mode on the camera, that's really positive. That's what I found out about the HDR video mode and I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, that would really help me a lot. And if you haven't subscribed and you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. This channel is getting so close to 1000 subscribers. Right now, while I'm recording this video, we're at 955 subscribers. So please hit that subscribe button. Anyway, that's it for this week. Maybe I will see you in another video.